Welcome everyone to Carol's Art Room. As you can see, I'm going to do some more tiles. Somebody that wanted gray and purples. So I'm going to do a couple. It's my Glidden Premium house paint. see the consistency it barely makes a mound I don't know if you can see that all right let's do these so I've got Windsor Newton violet that's a, um, ultra violet ultramarine violet that I'm going to mix up. So I'll be right. Maybe I'll show you how I mix this. So I'm going to take my tube paint. I'm not measuring that much lately because I'm getting used to my paint. So I'm just going to put that much in. I'm going to get my Base 8300 there. I'm just going to use my spoon. I'm just going to put in. I usually don't do singles, I usually make up a batch. And my mixture is two to one. So two bare bobs. It's just a rough mixture today. I'm doing this for a video, for my video. So that's one glob of paint, two globs of the bear. Now I'm using my poly acrylic. Clear gloss, and it's water base. two of these because I can't mound it so but it's basically two to one because this goes flat I had it mounded before I might need a bit more because that tube paint is very thick the tube paint you could probably do equal parts So I added two more. Still very thick. So I'm going to add some of my water and my varnish mixture to thin it down. It's about one third varnish and two thirds water. These are all water-based products, so the water doesn't hurt anything. It's still very thick. a little more varnish. That's 
pretty good now. A little bit more. And I think we're good. Some paints you don't need as much because it's thinner paint. This paint was very thick. There, see how it bounces. Okay. Now I only have a little bit of this Windsor and Newton and I have some purple flash. So I think I'll just add the Windsor and Newton paint to the purple flash. not enough. That's pretty good there. Okay. some uh, slate gray. And this is, I think this is Liquitex Basics. Slate gray. Actually, I'll use um, this is Equitex Basic Silver and Modern Master Silver. And you know what? I'm going to blend all my grays together because I only really need one gray. Try to use up all the little bits of my paint. Yeah, that made a nice gray. This purple is opaque, so I think I'll put this one down first. And some gray. And this one is the... Put some pearl, pearl white in. Decor, pearl white. See how that looks. Let me use my black cell activator. See what that looks like. Well, that looks pretty. I think I might modify this one.
cool. kind of like that negative space there. Still moving quite a bit. So I'm going to spin it again. now. this now and I'm going to do a new one. Okay, let's do the skin. I'll do another one. I already taped my backs. do the same order and this time I wonder if I can blow with my breath this time Excuse my head this time. I haven't done this for a while. seem to get as much of the white from underneath this time. That's the pearl white, I can tell. Wow, that's really nice. <laughs> I better start using my breath more. That's pretty. I 
I feel like doing another one. With the same... Um, using my breath. I'm just letting the middle... Come back. All my recipes for my videos, for my paintings, are in the description under the video. The Bloom Technique. And there's also a discount code for the Shelly Art Course, which is very helpful. Oh, that's pretty. really pretty. I wish I could blow that out there. I don't think I can. Let's see, use my little straw. I shouldn't have done that. Oh. All right, let's give it a spin. Next one I won't modify. Maybe I'll just scrape the other one and just use these ones are prettier. That's gorgeous. spin to do it. Tell moves a bit.
and do number three. head again. So a little bit, I need to blow this a little more. Ah, see, I got some weight there. Darn. Still pretty. Still pretty. It's going to poke a few of them out. sided here. See how this one spins out. It's looking pretty nice actually. I like this one. You never know until you uh, finish what they're going to end up looking like. You might not like it at first and then you keep going and then you'll like it. I like these colors. So pretty. Love 
this one. It's barely moving. One more spin. All right, that's it. I've done three for you today. There you go. Thanks for watching, and uh, I'll put the dried results at the end of the video. Please subscribe if you haven't yet. And hit the bell, and you'll get notified when I do a new video. And uh, give me a thumbs up if you like these. Have a great day. Hi, everybody. Here's my dried pretty purple and gray and silver blooms. Look how gorgeous they came out. I really, really like these. Nice shiny there. Yeah, they turned out awesome. There you go. Thanks for watching my videos and please subscribe if you haven't yet. And uh, hit the bell and you'll be notified when I do a new one. Have a good day. Bye-bye.